So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my watercolor channel. Today as you can see, again I'm not in my room, I'm in Mumbai. Two weeks ago I was in Bangkok and tomorrow is my flight to Singapore. By the time you're watching this video, the Bangkok and India sketch tours are out and as well as the Bangkok art hall. So if you haven't seen those vlogs yet, please do check them out. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the art shops that I visited here in India and as well as a rundown of all the items that I got. I'm so excited. Let's not make this any longer. Let's begin. In India, I went to six cities but I was only able to check out stores in two cities and that's in Chandigarh and Mumbai. The first city I visited was Delhi but I didn't go to any shops there as I don't want to carry lots of materials in my luggage because I was yet to go to Chandigarh and Amritsar. Anyway, I might be going back to Delhi and I can do another art haul when that chance comes. Munshi Ram Manak Chandhain is located at Sector 22D along CMC Road in Chandigarh. This art shop is small but it's compact. It's not fancy, no air conditioning and all, very straightforward. But the store manager and his assistants were very accommodating and helpful. It has a wide range of products and mediums from watercolors to oils to acrylics to specialty papers to books to craft materials and more. They have Kamlin products but at that time they didn't have solo tubes so I just got the tube sets. I also got other watercolor sets, pads, and a book. The shop only accepts cash, no credit card. I was surprised the cashier rounded up the total price I had to pay, favoring me a great discount. The English bookshop is located at the Bridge Market Sector 17, Chandigarh. This is a bookshop within a shopping complex. Aside from books, they also have some painting materials, pads, and other stationary products, and they have fountain pens too. In this shop, I'm glad they're accepting credit card for payment. In this store, I started collecting Camlin watercolor tubes. I wanted to complete the 48 colors, but their stock was not anymore complete. Here was where I bought the Brusto set. So those are the two shops in Chandigarh and after Chandigarh, I went to Amritsar. Stayed there for three nights. No art halls in Amritsar, just work and some visit to temples like of course the Golden Temple. Then after Amritsar, I flew to Mumbai. There I continued the crazy art hall. Art Lounge is located along Ambalal Doshi Marg Street in Mumbai. This store also has a wide range of art products from varying paint materials to brushes to inks to papers and more. They have Camlin and other imported brands such as Windsor Newton and Koinur. Here was where I completed all the tubes of Camlin watercolors. So now I can finally complete my Camlin watercolor tube collection. I was so happy, felt like I was ready to go home. I love this shop because the seller or the cashier named Suni was very accommodating and pleasant and above all, she speaks good English so it was easier for me to ask for assistance. Packing my things, she's so good, she's very accommodating and I'm happy she, she's speaking in English. <laughs> Thank you. Our next door is the Hanata Stationery and Art Bandra. When I was in the northern part of Mumbai, I chanced on dropping by this shop along Turner Road. And here is where I got these handmade watercolor cotton pad. The final store in this hall is the Himalaya Fine Art located at the Himalaya House along Palton Road near CSMT. This shop is also compact and I feel that it's complete. I saw many artist grade watercolors and pads like Daniel Smith, Schminka, Sennelier, Arches, Canson and a lot more. Here was where I found the size that I want of Chitrapat watercolor cotton pad. So guys, here now are all the items that I got here in India. By the way, I just would like to share that the total weight of these items have reached already 7 kilograms and the Bangkok items are now 5 kilograms so that's additional 12 kilograms already in my weight and I'm still about to go to Singapore. I still have other stuff like sweets and souvenirs and more so I bought additional weight. Anyway, that's fine. So 
let's begin with these leather pad i'm so happy with these because there's a ganesh engraved in the cover this is vegetable leather and it's only 200 rupees or 2.5 US dollars. Imagine that you have a leather pad for only 2.5 US dollars. But the paper is not watercolor paper, it's a craft paper, which is fine. I'm not intending to use this for watercolor works. I'm using this for notes. By the way, I got these at a bazaar in Delhi. I wasn't able to document that. Next is this watercolor journal, 100% cotton, 200 GSM, 34 sheet by Scholar, and it's 550 rupees or 7 US dollars only and you get a 100% cotton pad. Next is this watercolor paintings with photo reference book by Mulik. I got this book because I love the style of the artist. I can uh, relate to his style because it's loose and so cheap. It's only 200 rupees or roughly 2.5 US dollars and you have a book now. Next is this Chitrapat um, pad. This is 100% cotton fiber. I chose the rough. It has 25 sheets. It's 270 GSM. And it's only 295 rupees or 3.7 US dollars. Imagine that. And I'm hearing a lot of good things about this pad. I was actually intending to get the bigger pad, but for some reason I got the smaller one. Now I'm having small regrets, but anyway, I think I'm gonna be back. So when I return and I got more package allowance, I'm gonna get a few more pads, bigger pads. And this next product is Virat Paper Bazaar, the craft store. A handmade watercolor paper pad. It's 100% cotton. It's rough finish and this is 220 GSM, 375 rupees or 4.7 US dollars. 25 by 35 CM. Next item is this handy block. 300 GSM. It's off-white. This is a cotton rag. Rough finish. It says here, yeah, made in India. 425 rupees or 5.3 US dollars and by the way what I've noticed about the Indian made products is that the price is already printed in the product or in the box or in the front cover of the pad which is I think a good thing because it will avoid overpricing so yeah it's super rough this reminds me so much of the caddy paper also an Indian product and as you can see it's not perfect which is okay because this is handmade. Now let's go to the watercolor products. And most of these items are Camel products because I believe they're the number one paint brand in uh, India. Please don't quote me for that. <laughs> but let's begin with the non Cameline or non Camel products. I got Windsor and Newton tubes. I know you find it weird that I got Windsor and Newton tubes in India. Yes, kind of accessible in the Philippines, but for some reason, these colors, the aqua green, the transparent orange, are not available in the Philippines. I don't know why, and I added a few more colors because uh, they're out of stock from where I'm buying in the Philippines. The aqua green and transparent orange, they're hard to find, but yeah, I got the uh, transparent orange for one for 20 rupees or roughly 18 US dollars from Art Lounge but the, they gave me 10% discount because I reviewed their store at Google Maps so yeah and the 5ml tubes have the price of the 15ml so it's always wiser to get the 15ml tubes but still got these because these are the last stocks of these colors and the next is the Brustro Artists Watercolors I got the 24 shades 12ml each this is a product of Creative Hands I'm not actually sure if this is made in India it never said that it's made in India no it's not made in India country of origin China but yeah the price is 897 per set for roughly 11 US dollars and I'm happy that they're putting the pigment codes in here next is the uh, Dom's watercolor cakes I got the 36 cakes and it comes with two brushes it is 300 rupees or 3.7 US dollars and yeah it's made in India now all that's left are the camel products let's begin with the brush here i got two brushes so i have here a round brush size 10 so yep and it says here 
brush for poster water and acrylic I assume poster paint watercolor and acrylic so this is a versatile brush and it's 80 rupees the price is printed here which is equivalent to one US dollar so imagine for one US dollar you have a decent brush <laughs> isn't it amazing India is just so cheap that's why I got lots of stuff the flat brush is 50 rupees or roughly 60 cents now let's go to this set this is the camel watercolor cakes I think this is the student grade I chose the 24 colors and it comes with a cute brush this is really for students because it has a uh, competition sheet here that asks for the school name that's the clear clue that it's for students so it's only 110 rupees imagine that 110 rupees or 1.3 US dollars and you have a 24 color set now let's go to the artist grade watercolor cakes i chose the 24 colors it's in this uh, metal or aluminum container but it doesn't look new for some reason it has some bumps and scratches but that's fine yep. and it also got stains already but yeah it looks new it looks fine it has this distinct smell and by the way, I forgot. The price is 330 rupees or 4 US dollars. And of course, this is made in India. Next is the 12 color 20 ml tube set. And I've actually reviewed this particular set. If you haven't seen it yet, please uh, check it out. I'm linking it here. And the reason I still got this set is because I would like to pour them in half pans again. And the final set from Camel that I got is the 24 color tube set, 5 ml each. And the reason why I got this is because I'd like to see their color selection. And I'm thinking, should I review this set too? Please let me know at the comment section. This is, yeah, the price was erased. I think 430 rupees or 5.3 US dollars. And for some reason, these tubes are made out of plastic while the 20 ml tubes are made out of aluminum. Here are the tubes, but we're not reviewing it yet. And the main goal for the India Art Hall is for me to complete all the 48 colors of Camel Artists watercolors. And I'm successful. I'm so happy today. I finally completed all the 48 colors. And by the way, the price is ranging from 60 to 65 to 70 to 75 rupees only. That's less than one US dollar per tube, per 20 ml tube. And that's so cheap. Except for one, I find it really weird that only this particular color 436 ultramarine blue it's 90 rupees so that's more than one us dollar like 1.1 which is still of course super cheap but why is it it's the only color with that price and there are only two series here series one and series two and uh, let's get another series this for example french ultramarine it's also series two but the price is 75 rupees and this is 90 rupees maybe the production date is the reason because it says here 0322 so it's packaged in 2022 and this one is 2021 so this might be the more updated, the newer um, tube. I'm not sure. If you have any idea, please let me know. So that's all for our India Art Hall. Our next video is the Singapore Sketch Tour and then the Singapore Art Hall. I hope you follow this series and I hope you also enjoy this type of content. Again, this has been Alan. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye!